How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves to another review on the channel. Now, like I promised yesterday, we have the one, the only, Johan Cruyff. We're going to review the loan version today because it costs like a bloody uh, a fortune. It's 3.4 million for the SPC, 4.3 for the tradable on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. So it's not like... You just like waltz in the SBC and do it straight away, unless you're a massive uh, Cruyff fan, which everyone's a Cruyff fan, of course. But um, it's a big investment to make this FIFA. So what I'm going to do today is try the try before you buy version, give you my opinion on the card. Lads, if you've already done this card, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Even if you've done the loan, what has your experience been with this card? And lads, if you do enjoy, you already know what to do. Bring that hype. Let's smash a thousand likes for Johan Cruyff, the inventor of the Cruyff turn, of course. And um, yeah, just smash out the ballpark, lads. I mean, this is a late upload, so I do apologize for being quite late. So I've, I've had loads to do today, but um, it's up now, and I hope you do enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Click that little notification bell as well to be notified of when I do upload on the channel, lads. We're gonna jump into it. He's gonna play Cam and Strike in a 4 2 3 1. He's gonna alternate between both positions. Let's see how it did. Let's Let's get in the review. So here we go then lads, and like I've already kind of covered, is the price of the card. 3.4 million for the SBC, the untradeable version. And for the tradable, it costs like whoa, 900k more, 4.3 maximum on the PlayStation. I think it's like uh, next to 4 million in total, maybe like 4.1 on the Xbox as of right now. So that is kind of the price bracket for the, the untradeable and the tradable versions. I don't know man. Is, is he worth that much? I mean, it's a hell of a lot of coins. Look at Mbappe, who I still reckon is the best player in this game. And um, he costs a road for like 3.5 million, I do believe so anyways. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So, uh, I, I don't do well with market prices, let's just say that. Now, I did play all 10 games of him. His goal scoring record wasn't the best for me, but I've got to say, I know he can score goals. I witnessed that. I scored a number of different variety types of goals, and I know it can create. So look at that, man. Just look at these stats. They are incredible. So what I wanted to try was the dribble under the card, how effective he was in certain positions. Hence why I did try him at striker, and it can. In terms of his stats in large, you look at the pace. It's 94 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. Very, very impressive with the card. He is fast on this game and adds to um, to that with the great movement that he's got. He's got high to low work rates. He's got 95 attack position and 96 finishing for a striker. That is good for a centre-back. That's bloody good. For anywhere on the field, that 96 finishing is very, very good. Shot power, 88. Just look at these shooting stats, man. 94 long shots, 95 volleys, and 88 penalties. In terms of the passing category, his creativity is nuts. Due to the vision of 96, the short pass is 94. The, the curve as well, 95. The long pass is 89. The free kick actually is 83, and the crossing is 89 of boots. And so if you're wondering why he did get this card, it was because of um, the Cruyff turn, that game where he did get the Cruyff turn. That's his moment, apparently. But that's the moment everyone Noah's Cry 4, the Cry turn, and um, just his legendary career that he did have. In terms of dribbling category, which is 99 in total, and is why this card is so effective on this game, so kind of, this, <laughs> what's the Muhammad Ali saying? Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee? He stings like a butterfly, floats like a bee. He's just, he's all over the shot, man. He's um, not in terms of position or anything like that. He just glides all over the pitch. And it is very, very impressive to watch him do his thing and use this card. He's so, so enjoyable on this game. The other person I've had a lot of enjoyments is with the likes of Neymar, with the likes of Mbappe. Is skillful players with great weak foots. And um, I offer you a lot in game. You look at the likes of the top icons, the top tier icons. These kind of top tier prime moment icons. You look at the team of the years. Team of season, I can't bloody wait because if I'm having this much enjoyable, well, enjoyable moments with these cards, I just can't wait to, to have the exact same experience with Team of the Season. Hopefully it will be the exact same, but this card is so damn enjoyable. It is ridiculous, mainly down the dribble. 95 agility, 95 balance, superb. You don't need a chemistry start to boost that in the slightest. He's got 99 reactions, 99 ball control, and a couple more 99s. He's got 99 dribble and 99 composure. That is incredible, man. Honestly, the engine on that, so some of the boost stats in 99 agility, 99 balance, uh, 99 reactions, ball control, dribbling, and composure. That would be a fully maxed out category, but honestly, the agility and balance is that good, it doesn't need an improvement in that sense. So in terms of the physicality of the card, it is only 75, but I say this because his stamina, his stamina isn't that great. It is 84, which you look at that and think, Jesus Christ, that's quite impressive, especially for a low defensive work rate, but 
I found with them um, using this card, I was using them a lot. I was going on dribbles, I was running with the card, I was shooting with the card, I was creating chances with the card. At calm, his stamina depleted really, really quick. Over time, injury time and stuff like that, it'd be um, a bit of a stretch for this card. You might need to sum out every now and then. And uh, yes, uh, physical is just not that great with the card. You look at the strength, 72, not bad. But the main things I'm trying to pick up on is the stamina and the jumping. And uh, the heading in total. Basically, if you want to play him Ram or Lam, he's going to have trouble in the air. That's why I did put Hawk on him to boost him to 77 jumping. Uh, it is 67 in the terms of the normal stat. And that is one of the worst stats. The other worst stat is the heading accuracy of 66, of course. Um, yeah, if he does get a header or anything like that, they won't be that accurate unless he does have a free header on goal. But running through his pros, and there is many, many of these pros, the pace is incredible. Add to that, his dribbling, my good god, you've got a speed dribbler on this game. You've got an evasive speed dribbler on this game. And like I said, he floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. He is very, very good. And he's very, just look at this, by the way, just look at this. He flicks over his shoulder, first time cross. That is exquisite to Ronaldinho with the crossing of 89. His passing in general is just very, very good amongst everything else because this guy is the jack of all trades on this game. Apart from the physicality, I need to put the physicality as a con. I'd love to give, give this guy like clear marks, but um. As, as cons, a uh, minor con, I hit the post a lot of times with this card. It's actually a joke, I hit the post so many times, the flick of volleys, um, kept hitting the post despite his great shooting on this game. Haven't got finishing in there, even though it's maxed out with a whole chemistry style, he was still missing chances. He was hitting the post quite a bit, and uh, I'll probably hit the post as many times as I did score. Scored four times in ten games with a free assist, so I don't have finishing or clinical or kind of finishing or shooting or anything like that in terms of the pros. I've just got shooting in general because he is very accurate with his strikes, but sometimes it's like it can be too accurate. It hits the post and the post and the post and the post. It just hits the post a lot. So in terms of the pros, you've got the pace, you've got the movement, honestly. The high level work rates benefits this guy in a striker formation. As a cam, he runs beyond the striker. Love that about the card because if you've got like a hold up striker or anything like that, what they do is they bring the ball down. Cruyff is a way like lightning running in behind defenses, getting a chance, and more often than not, putting the keeper to work. In terms of agility, and balance, I could have two of them right there, 95 apiece. His dribbling, just in general, is just so, ex it's just so good, man. So fluid, and that is what I would stress this guy is. He's a fluid footballer in this game. He can drift past many players. He's got great pace, he's a speed dribbler, and lads, you know this, it's in the elephant in the room. He's got the five-star combo, five-star skills, five-star weak foot. That's as good as it gets, that is the PS3 resistance. I mean, Five-star skills, what more do you want from a player in terms of, you can't get six-star skills, you can't get six-star weak foot, the five-star weak foot is tremendous. Left foot is just as good as the right, which is preferred foot, of course. In terms of the rest of these pros, you got the shooting, which is good, but sometimes the post, man, the post, I mentioned that a lot in this review, and the creativity, I got three assists in ten games, and the three assists came from like two, two, maybe three, maybe four games, as it can, some games, by the way, it says ten, I played about eight or seven, because they were seeing my team and they were backing out, or, they'll get like, uh, I'd get an early goal with a different member of my squad, and then back out, it was just a waste of a loan, really, this card, well, not a waste of a loan, I get the review out for you guys and share my opinions, but, um, that's what did happen, that's why the record looks so damn terrible, in terms of physicality, that is the only con, literally the only con, and, um, yeah, let's get into the rating with this card, because I'm gonna discuss whether or not he is, um, worth it over his prime, because his prime is uh, about half the price of the max tradable version on the market, and, of course, you can only get the tradable version of Prime Cruyff on this game. There's no SPC coming out for that. It's only the Prime Moments SPCs that are coming out in the future. And, um, lads, they're not much difference, to be honest. I know in terms of stats, I'm sure one of the stats went up by 15. It could be his, uh, his balance or something like that. But, honestly, from the time I used this guy at the capture event, which was miles ago, miles away, and just, um, it was ages ago, basically, uh, yeah, man, I had the exact same experience, but I had so much more enjoyment with, um, certain aspects of this guy's gameplay, for example, his dribbling, that's why he's getting enjoyment rating, lads, if it's 10 out of 10, he's getting the overall rating, though, the exact same rating as a 9.8, which you can see on your screen right in front of you, as of right now, um, yeah, 9.8, it's a great rating, it's the exact same rating I gave, the other Cruyff, looking back, I would have given that Cruyff about a 9.6. He was uh, easily uh, one of the best players I used at the start of the game just because he was new. He was 5-star, five 5-star. Five his dribble was incredible. And um, 
since then there's been meta in the game. There's meta here, there's meta there, and to suit the gameplay, because the gameplay's changed, we have many, many patches. Cruyff has slowly, slowly, slowly went down the pecking order, and um, since then I need to give a re-review of the Prime card. Give him like a 9.6, 9.7, that is what I would give that card. This one is better than the Prime card, he's getting a 9.8 in that category. Um, He's a great card, but the physicality does let him down. I need to mark that against the cards. And sometimes, you can just... He loves the post, man. He bloody loved the post. As um, you would have seen once or twice in this review. I honestly, I couldn't pick them all out. There was many, many of them, but I had a lot of gameplay footage. Uh, Ten games in total. Roughly like seven marks, eight marks because of rage quits. Uh, but we've got 7.8. If you're going to do the SPC, you get a lot of good packs back with that. Um, I don't know how many coins back you get back in packs. Uh, well, pack value, I should say. Maybe like... Half a million or something like that? Or a million? It's crazy, it's crazy. You get a lot of packs back for this. And I think it's 15 SPCs in total to get this card. Which is a lot, but at the same time, it's one of the... The, the better primes on this game, Cruyff is an end game prime. He's an end game player, lads. He's an end game player for many co uh, clubs. And what I will say, lads, is... You know the meta on this game. Everyone goes to the meta. Everyone wants Ronaldinho's. Everyone wants... Even though Ronaldinho isn't exactly the meta meta on this game, everyone wants Hullets, everyone wants Vieiras, everyone wants Ronaldos because they're seen in the Pro Bands. Go with your heart, lads. Go into how you play the game. If you want to play, you've enjoyed him, you've idolized this guy the whole life, and um, you look like you could enjoy him on this game. Try the loan out. If you like the loan, do the SBC because, honestly, it's all about your enjoyment, not about winning game here, yeah, game that. It's about your enjoyment. Enjoyment is what you make of this game right now because the game... Sometimes your opponent can uh, make the game uh, a terrible experience for you. Sometimes the game can make it a terrible experience for you. So, fun is what you make it on this game. And that is what I'll suggest that Cruyff would do to you. He's getting a 10 out of 10 enjoyment rate. And I fully, fully love this card in terms of what he did bring to the table. He just brings excitement. So, in terms of the perfect link, you've got Rude Huller, for example. Uh, Icons are the Dutch. Give a perfect link to this card. Strong links. Anyone that's Dutch, um, for example, De Jong, Frankie De Jong, uh, any icon, Alan Shearer, for example example there always are kind of um, examples in terms of links are uh, Alan Shearer and the weak link which could be Neymar or anyone on the game that's not Dutch or not an icon in terms of similar players I was gonna say that weirdly there um, Neymar leads away Neymar is the exact same as this card I said team here Neymar and Cruyff are very very similar on this game. I said that weird because I was swallowing halfway through that. But anyways guys, in terms of key pro, it be the triple and the key con will be the physicality. The best game style will be Hawk, for me anyways. Just to boost the jump and just try to get him a little bit more kind of physical in this game in terms of strength and whatnot. So that is what I'd put on the card. Bloody hell, I'm gonna swallow a lot in this review. I think I'm getting cold, lads. In terms of rating per position, he goes to a 97. Rated cam center forward, right forward, left forward, left wing, and right wing with a hot chemistry style. In terms of the best in that position that are Dutch, Cruyff leads the way. Hullet, a bird camp, a Van Basten, and Van Nistelrooy. Clivers, uh, I don't think I've used that card as of right now. The prime moments Clivers. I might have to use them in the future. But anyways, guys, for the other rating, it would be an 8.1. Total enjoyment is max. Two out of two. Value, 1.3. Like I said, if you're going for the SPC, it could be worth value. If not, just go for the, the Prime Cruyff. The, the one that costs two point something million. Don't go for the Prime Moments. I know the Prime Moments could be very tempting towards you, but um, that's not too much difference, man. It's not too, too much difference within the card. In terms of ability, 1.9. Consistency, 1.0. Because like I said, he hit the post a lot. And we're maxed out shooting. That should not happen. 99 finisher goes to with Hawk. 98 shot power. 94 long shots. And um, 99 volleys as well. It should not happen hitting the post numerous, numerous times. So consistency goes down to 1.0. Effectiveness, 1.9. Because he is very effective in calm and striker. Probably the most effective position for him is at calm. Because he's very creative. He's very good in front of goal from time to time. And he's just great at what he does do and lads if you did enjoy this also for champions he's obviously a starter if you're paying for this card you're gonna start him you're not gonna put him on the bench and um you're not gonna not put him on the you're not gonna stick him in your club and just leave him there to rot but anyways guys hope you have enjoyed this review today if you have once again bring that amazing support the support on the channel right now is wow it's incredible, lads. Now, I've got all you to thank for that. So, thank you so damn much for the support on the channel. Support you give me on a daily basis. So, ever be on any social media or on YouTube. Thank you so damn much. And, lads, it's going to be it for the review. So, once again, if you have enjoyed, smash a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And, as always, I will catch you all next time.